Welcome to Vanadium. This is Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. It's easy to forget that it's working, but the nose is always doing something amazing. It's actually the most sensitive chemical sensor anywhere on planet Earth. Even the most sophisticated laboratories can't do what a dog or even a human can. The animal nose performs on-demand stereoselective chemistry, detecting subtle differences in the physical shape of odor molecules before you've even had a chance to think about what you're smelling. The formula for the chemical responsible for the smell of lavender is identical to the one that smells like oranges. The only thing different between these two strands of atoms is a subtle shift in shape. Smell relies on a lock and key mechanism at the chemical receptors in the nose. These natural sensors are able to tell the difference when many high-tech laboratory techniques would fail to distinguish between them. The smell of death is actually just the presence of a chemical called cadaverine escaping into the air. In humans, computer chemical modeling experiments have shown that cadaverine fits into the chemical pocket, the binding site of the human amine receptors TAAR6 and TAAR8. The most potent, foulest odor is probably one familiar to us all. The experience of this odor is so powerful, the material is added to flammable gas just to raise our alarm in case of a leak. What do gas fuels like propane and butane actually smell like by themselves? Nothing. Liquefied natural gases are odorless, which means they could be accumulating in the room and no one would be aware until it was too late. People would die from asphyxiation. There could be an explosion or fire long before anyone could even smell a hint of gas in the air. Adding ethane thiol to create a built-in alarm system for gas leaks was a stroke of genius. The visionaries who first realized this technology was possible were vultures, literally turkey vultures. Employees at the Union Oil Company of California reported in 1938 that turkey vultures would gather in mass any time this stuff somehow got into the environment. After a while, scientists had an idea. The oil company decided to boost the amount of ethane thiol in the gas and make detection of leaks easier. Ethane thiol has such a strongly disagreeable odor that humans can detect it in unimaginably low concentrations. The threshold for human detection is as low as just one part in 2.8 billion parts of air. The odor has been described as resembling that of leeks, onions, or boiled cabbage. The human nose is 100 million times better at detecting ethane thiol than ethanol, drinking alcohol. It's often said by chemists that the ethanol molecule looks like a dog. Little hydrogen feet, nose and tail with an oxygen puppy dog face. Well, in my opinion, the ethane thiol molecule looks like a gamut irradiated mutated dog with a four foot long sulfur snout. Still cute to me, but not really a dog anymore. Maybe like a hyena? Once this stuff was added to gas, the occurrence of toxic exposure, explosions and fires went way down. Scientists also noticed that just a handful of people were unable to detect this chemical in the air. It turned out these people had a mutation in the gene that coded for a special copper-based smell receptor molecule in the nose. This technology helped biochemists better understand what was actually happening when we smelled something. Synthetic organic chemists have cooked up some Frankenstein stink monster molecules of their own. The French and American military worked together once to come up with a special formula and the cutest name for a product that I'm aware of. Who, me? Was the military's secret sulfur-based chemical composed of five ingredients. It reportedly perfectly simulates the odor of rotting carcasses. The who, me? gas was developed during World War II so that French resistance fighters could apply it to German officers and make them smell so offensive that the Nazi war machine would somehow just crumble. I don't think the plan was very well thought out. Also, in practice, it was a bit difficult to confine the application of the chemical to the intended target. Who, me? 
tended to get around, and it didn't make for the most effective chemical weapon. This didn't deter scientists from playing around some more with these funky chemicals. American chemists invented a wonderful combination of eight molecules said to emit a stench that perfectly mimics human feces. Their goal was to develop a standard horrible smell to test the effectiveness of industrial air fresheners and deodorizers. The scientists named this fecal clone U.S. Government Standard Bathroom Malodor, GSBM. That's definitely not as catchy as, who, me? But I'm glad our government is taking bad smells so seriously that they developed a proper test standard. Thank you very much. This was Chris Rankin with Vanadium.